Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 55. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College website link and you can download the workbook Business 210 Chapter 4. If you're in the class, just go to our Chapter 4 website. Hey, our, our last video for Chapter 4 Probability is just how to create a joint probability table, a conditional prob and a conditional probability table uh, with a pivot table. Now here's some raw data, and the question is, for this raw data, we did a little poll, question is, how do you rate your instructor? Then let's find out how these ratings change depending on how long they've been tenured, right? So you can say, okay, good, excellent, ah, but they've been working for 10 to 5 years, 5 to 10, 10 to 20. So do the um, probabilities for these ratings change depending on how long you've been tenured? Here's our data set right here. Let's go ahead and create a pivot table. We go to insert, oh, but field names at the top, records in row, one cell selected. Insert, pivot table, pivot table. I'm going to say on a new worksheet. Now the first great thing about this is we can make a cross tabulated uh, table easily. I'm going to click and drag class rating to row and tenure to columns. Just like that we can see we have our labels and then you can drag either one of these right into the value area. I'm going to close this and there's a cross tabulated uh, table. Everything inside of here meets two criteria, this one and this one for that intersection right there. Now, how do we create our joint probability since everything in here is an AND, A-N-D, which means joint probability, multiplying rule. We, uh, I'm going to copy this whole uh, table here. I'm going to click and highlight. Control C, and then I'm going to click down uh, two cells below and Control V. Now, to change this to a joint probability, we need to change these. We need to divide all the numbers in the table by the total overall. So we right click, um, value field settings a little bit. Uh, let me scroll up a little bit. Right click, value field settings, count of tenure. Uh, let's change that to a joint probability. And you, the trick is is to go to show values as. Show values as, we want to say as a percent of total. And just like that, we've converted the whole table into a joint probability table. So this is the, uh, and it says joint right there. Now, let's go ahead and uh, copy this again and see how control V. Now we want to do, um, Conditional probability, so for example, for this column here, I want to do 5 divided by 20, 8 divided by 20, and 7 by, divided by 20. No, this is, this is in a column. There's the column total, column total, column total. So instead of percent of total like here, for a conditional probability for the columns, we right click, value field settings. I'm going to say uh, conditional probability for columns, and then we go to show values as, right click, I mean uh, just click, and we want to say percent of column. And just like that we have our conditional probabilities for all of our uh, uh, values there. Now one more we'll do, can do, that was for column, let's do it for row, I'm going to copy and paste uh, three down here, and uh, right click. Uh, value field settings. I'm going to say uh, conditional probability for rows. I'm going to go to va show values as and uh, percentage of row. So those are three separate tables. This is the conditional probabilities in rows, conditional probabilities in columns, conditional probability, I mean joint probabilities. You could actually do all three of these together if you wanted by um, when you show your field list, sh right click show field list, you would drop three of these into there so you'd have one, two, three and you do that right, um, changing for each one of those in three fields dropped into the values area. Sometimes it's easier just to do them one at a time. Now one other important thing about pivot tables, in our last video we saw how um, these probabilities right here are called 
marginal probabilities. And what if you wanted to do an or? These are mutually exclusive categories. If you wanted to do, say, what's the probability of being in this category or this category, you have to add these mutually, um, these two probabilities here. Well, watch this. If I say equals and click on this right here, oh, get pivot data. Now, sometimes people like this. This is the get pivot data uh, function, and it automatically shows up when you click on a cell in a pivot table. It just means it's got the categories, but look, it's all hard coded in, and when you move your uh, if you want to do something different, sometimes people don't like this. So watch this. I've got to show you how to turn this off. This is an automatic feature. If you like it, just use it. It'll, it'll work just fine. But if you don't, you've got to go to the OR. And then down at the bottom off the screen is the Excel Options. And then you want to go to Formulas. And then you want to go to, ah, there it is, Use Get Pivot Table Data Function. I'm going to turn that off in the formulas. And then down at the bottom, I'm going to click OK. And now when I say uh, this one, it just shows me B8. You also could just type the cell references in. If you want to see how to use the Get Pivot Table uh, Data Function, uh, just search the YouTube site for Get Pivot Data Function. All right. Uh, Oh, wait a second. I see one other important thing I got to show you. And this is a cool trick. Notice it says uh, greater than one, sorry about that, greater than one, less than five years. Um, and then the category that should be right here is greater than five but less than 10. But wait a second. It's out of order. Watch this. In a pivot table, if you can very carefully point your cursor until you see that little cursor right there, right? Sometimes it's hard to get it, but when you see that one, that means highlight this whole column here, just like that. Notice you could uh, you do formatting then too. You could like add some yellow, but that's not what I want to show you. You could do that here, and uh, oh, these colors are so cool. Look at that. Boop. And then, so you can make your whole table. But what's so convenient is you do it with just a little click. But really, what we want is we want to highlight this and then move it. Watch this. When you point to the edge, you see that move cursor. This move cursor, it's a four-way black arrow underneath a white cursor. This shows up everywhere in, in Word when you're moving pictures, or Excel when you're moving a cell, or PowerPoint, whatever. But that means move, M-O-V-E. So you just click and move. Now, the hard thing is you got to make sure that that gray line drops where you want right there. So sometimes it's a little tricky, seeing like it gets stuck up there. Oh, don't drop it there. So you don't want to let go of your mouse until, boom, you see that gray vertical bar right there. And just like that, it is now in order. And then I would actually have to go through and do these. If I had done this first off the bat, before I copied them, then it would have been just fine. There are other ways to uh, sort horizontally and do custom sorts and stuff. But in a pivot table, that is a nice, convenient way to move your categories. All right, um, we'll see you next chapter.